Everybody's been talking to us, George. Last year they were wanting us to do some bottom fishing, grouper, just see what these fish could do. So we're gonna see what they can do with these Cape Fears today. Y'all stay tuned. Waiting to get jammed. There he is. There he is. Come on, baby. Come on. Out of that hole. Give me a little throttle here. Out of that hole, baby. Come on. You got him hooked up. I'm a jack, baby. Woo. Pretty fish. Wow. This is addictive fishing. For the next 30 minutes, you'll see why fishing is so addictive. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. We'll show you the most awesome oh. rod bending drag <laughs> screaming action. So hang on to your seats for this week's journey on addictive fishing. That went off the wreck. You sit on the bottom now, George. Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We're fishing Victory at Sea today, but the old uh, Bay Ranger's taking it. I'm your host, Captain Blair Wiggins, and we're fishing with Captain George Clark today off Key Largo. Fishing some of his little private wrecks down here, dropping live baits. Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We're gonna show you some bottom fish. Well, George, there's definitely not too much to this. You get yourself a good Garmin, something that sees the bottom good, got you some numbers, drop you some live bait down, and catch you some fish. Yeah, there might be a, a little bit more to the equation when you're dealing with a lot of uh, current and wind. But, oh, yeah. But yeah, it is, it is easy fishing when you figure it out. It is bouncy out here today. That's a long way down there, George. How, do you, how deep is this drop we're fishing on here? It's uh, 176 feet to the top of the barge, and uh, on the edge of it, it's, it's about 210, 220. Sand all around it, but it's just loaded with fish. It's a long way down there. Almost seems like it's calming down a little bit. It's only calming down to about 15 or 20. <laughs> George tells me there's a big bar down here. Well, barge, you said? Barge, yeah. A great big barge. And it's just loaded with fish down there. But it's deep. This power pro, I like using a power pro real deep like this because it's it don't take it long and there's not much drag. I mean by drag, there's not much there's a lot of current today and the diameter of the line's so small that it doesn't create much drag against the current. You don't need that much, you don't need a lot of weight to get it down on the bottom and hold it down there. A little cowbird. Hey, he's gonna land on my rod. <laughs> How about that, huh? Here's your buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna set the hook and he'll end up on the beach way back there. What? Well, he's a long way from a cow pasture, ain't he? Well, if it let me touch you. It's up there, little dude. It's pretty neat, huh? Wild as he can be. Any place, just let me land. This wind is killing me. There he is. Come on, baby. Come on. Out of that hole. Give me a little throttle here. Out of that hole, baby. Come on. I think we got him. You got him hooked up. You got him out of that hole. The biggest thing to do is get him out of that hole. At least that's what George said anyway. Well, that's, that's where they go. Just to hammer him hard at first. There he goes. There he goes. This old victory at the sea, baby. Look at God. I think we got a grown one. <laughs> Possibly. We're down here off Key Largo. Ooh. Screaming out some drag on that baby. We're with Captain George Clark. And he said, come on down, Blair. The group are eating. And I think we found a Found us a hungry one. What do you think, George? There's something at the end of that line there. No doubt. Well, he's digging hard too. That's the main thing. Just keep him out of that wreck and, and structure. 
<sighs> just get them out of the holes, huh? Keep the heat on. But there's one thing I'm doing now that I haven't done on the show yet before, and that's wear a belt. <laughs> he said there's some big fish down here, and I'm giving this Cape Fear here a workout with this fish. <clears throat> oh, it didn't take long. You got that bait there and whammo. That was instant, man. Instant. As soon as it hit the bottom, bam! <clears throat> Man, this guy's got some tug to him. Boy, he just yeah. does not want to come up. He ain't want to come out of that hole. Uh -oh. Captain George, what have you done to me? Uh, I take I take five, he takes ten. I take ten, he takes fifteen. That's all right. It'll be a winning battle here in a minute. Mm. Kind of, he kind of hard to stand up out here today. As you can see, it is white capping out here today. Big time. We were sitting in the dock earlier and George had that look on his face like, oh no, oh no. And I know that look because I've done it a hundred times. Isn't that worth it now? There's some color down there, way on down. There you go. It's like a nice fish. Nice, nice fish. Uh, it ain't looking like the right color though, brother. No. Listen, looking like one of them big old amberjack. You got him, you just gonna leader him from there? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in the holder there. Well, that's definitely one of the biggest AJs I've ever got in my life. It ain't that big a one, but he sure put on a tussle. Hit him hooked right. Right in the corner of the mouth? That's it. Let me hold that bad boy. Right there. Amber Jack, huh? I'm a Jack, baby! Woo! Pretty fish. Now, what do they do with these, George? Uh, as far as eating wise? Yeah. Uh, most people smoke them. Smoke them. Man, they can pull. There you go. about ready. See you, dude. George? All right. That was a nice tussle, tussle on a rough day like today. Y'all well, stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. There, there he is. is. There you go. Is that him? My little buddy ain't leaving. Hey, does that mean it's good luck when a bird lands on your rod like that? I don't know. Cowbird, too. Are we going after some cowfish? Eat it. Eat it. Come on. I know you're hungry. There he is. There you go. Is that him? Uh, come on, baby. They didn't want them great big baits. They wanted them little tiny baits. Yeah, sometimes eating the small ones better. Oh, there's some head shaking. Uh, you know, for such a pulling fish, this Cape Fear ain't bending over near enough. <laughs> it's coming up pretty easy now. This might be the grouper. How's he feel? Uh, he feels big. Yeah. <laughs> feels like a big AJ. That seems to be the fish of the day, Blair. They're uh, they're gobbling up these baits faster than the other fish can get to them, I guess. About the time they hit the bottom, it's almost instant. It's bam. Whew. I might try the spinning rod next. There you go. I've always been a lot better with a spinning rod. I know this is good. Oh my God, this is more like a bait caster to me. I'm used to those spinning rods. It's all what you're used to, I guess. Uh, I'm really impressed with these Cape Fear rods you brought down here, Blair. They're uh, the backbone's incredible. You know, you, you got the tip up there that's that's really really flimsy, but all your power comes from right in here. All that lifting power. Well, you got me fixed. Because I know these fish pull hard. <sighs> Well, with this, these type of reels, this rig, this thing's like a winch. <clears throat> There's some color. There he is. Woo! All right, George, there he is. I think he's about whooped. He looks like it. 
Look at that big old lead coming out. He's gonna come around on this side. Yeah. Get that leader over yeah, to you. Give me that lead right there. <laughs> that big old lead, that knocks somebody out. You got him? Yeah. Lay that down. Yeah, they're about whooped when they come up off that bottom, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're they're a little tired. Uh, come on, guy. Oh, there he is. Tailing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired. All right. There you go. Look at these things. My biggest AJs ever. Amber Jack off of Key Largo, brother. Mogans. We'll be right back. There he is. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. There he is. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom along the bottom. Hey, George, how uh, how big is this wreck, the barge? Well, if I had to guess, I'd, I'd say probably about 120 feet long. Pretty good um, size. It's, it's, it's good size. A lot of structure for fish to hide in, that's for sure. Well, that's a good thing. Are they breeding here this time of year? Or? Right now, all the grouper and mutton snapper are spawning, as well as the amberjack. So this is a good time of year if, if you want to get out here and, and do some of this fishing. Uh, generally, you'll find these fish feed a little bit better this time of year when they're spawning. Yeah, that's a hit. There he is. Fish on, brother. Fish on, all right. You ever had the AJ turn into grouper? <laughs> so I've, had, I've had the groupers turn into AJs. <laughs> well, they've been doing that all day. <laughs> Oh. Well, like my daddy always said, it could be worse. Yes, it could be worse. You could still be catching bait. This is a, a good problem. <sighs> it's not a bad problem to have nothing but a bunch of 40-pound amberjack eating. He's doing some dumping. Mm. They're strong fish, though, you know? Yeah. I guess the amberjack is still in the same family as a pompano and a permit. They're all in the jack they're family. All, they're all related somehow. I wish they tasted as good as a pompano. Is that about the only thing you people do with these is smoke them? No, you can eat them on the grill. And, and you know, I talked to a guy. He said that it's 25 bucks a plate in New York City for black and amberjacks. No so kidding. I, I guess they, they can fool a lot of people up there, but. Yeah, they just don't get redfish up there. Maybe lift. He don't want to come up off the bottom. Well, like any jack out there, they give you a workout. Those are strong, strong fish. Their endurance, you know, being out here in all this current, they're swimming the whole time, so they have pretty good endurance. All they do is eat. Eat and swim. Eat and swim. There's a little color way down there. That or I think this one got snagged in the tail. It's been a tough one. There he comes. Ooh, it's almost go in. He's still got a little fight left. I'll get it. Well, let's see if we can show this one off one time and let's go kiss him. Oh, more. look at this hog. That is a nice hog there. Come on, baby. Look at it, right in the corner of the mouth. Hey, everybody out there. Start using circle hooks on your bottom fish every time today. Been right there in the corner of the mouth. You can catch yourself some big old AJs. Let's go in and catch some uh, grouper. Let's do it. Uh, thank you. That was fun. Whew. We'll see y'all inside. I want to show you what we were using out there today. We are using the grunts that we got earlier on the reef. I was throwing the Finor Ahab 1222 speed reel using the Cape Fear rod, a little bottom rig. It's a 30 to 40 pound rig. 
dropping them down on the bottom, hooking the grunts up, using a pound of lead at some, time, at some points when the current was real strong, and uh, just putting them down on the bottom. And the, the Power Pro, with the sensitivity of it all the way down on the bottom, you could feel this little fish just going brrrr down on the bottom. And when it gets slammed, bam, it was a huge hit, and you could really feel it good. It was, it was really neat fishing, bottom fishing, but uh, that's your bait check for today, so now you can go out and catch a fish. Got you right up in front of the wreck this time on the south side, Blair. Come on, freight train. You should be in the strike zone right now. In the strike zone right now. Marking fish. Just now starting to come in to them. Wreck's right over here. It's down. Now we hope for one of them thumps. A big thump. The biggest thump of the day. There it is, there he is, there he is. Come on, baby. There he is. Come on, baby, come on, come on. There he is. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> God. He's gonna take me in the damn water. Oh man, is he dumping some line. I was fixing to say he don't feel that big. But he's fixing to dump the spool, I think. Come on, baby. It's almost getting calm enough to stand up out here now. I think if this is another amberjack, we might go in and check out the inside reef, you say? Yeah, we can go back in there and uh, look for some of the button snapper and grouper. <sighs> go back to sitting down or I'm going to end up in the water. <laughs> it's like a washing machine out here. Actually, it's calmed down quite a bit since, first, since we first got out here. This is a big fish. Ooh, whoa, Nelly. Come on, baby. He's going to dump me. Come on, baby. 150 feet up off the bottom. Next, next to the bar track. What all the kind of jacks? You get bar jacks around these out here too? They're mostly inshore, George. Yeah, they're mostly in on the edge of the reef there. They get some Almaco jacks. Almaco? Almaco. What do they look like? They got a big stripe over their eye. Okay. Brown stripe. These amber jacks, you know, they have that real Real amber stripe down the side of them. Real yeah. easy to distinguish these guys. Well, I tell you what, I strongly feel even even after fighting these up to 40 pounds, those Jack Carvel, pound for pound, are still the hardest fighting fish to swim. Absolutely. Fishing this deep, you never know what it is till you get them up. But you don't do it a lot. But I tell you, anybody, anybody can come out here and do this. Just, I say, give George a call, and he'll come bend your arms for you. No doubt. I met George at the Miami Boat Show, and uh, we just got picked up. A ranger was down there, down there working the booth with him, and he said, "Man, you got to come do some of this, some of this big grouper fishing." Haven't been able to show you the groupers yet, but we are sure getting our line stretched with it, with the amberjacks today. There's some leader. Mm. This down again. How about this? You don't have to touch fish today. <laughs> Woohoo, baby! Emma Jack. That is a beaut. Let me get him in the sun so everybody can see him out there. <sighs> see that nice big stripe of amber along his lateral line there? Right here. That's it. That's why they call it Emma Jack. And they pull like a jack. Woo! What do you say we head inshore and do some? Do some of that reef fishing inside. Yeah, let's go anchor up and see what we can do. Swallow that one. Look at my whole hands in his mouth. Tell me that ain't a big fish. Amber Jack, can you do, can you give him a throw down, George? What's that now? Can you do tuna? Toss yeah, him straight sure, down. Sure. He's out of here. 
Yeah. You and that Cape Fear are tearing it up today, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I couldn't have done it without you in the Garmin, that's for sure. Well, you did all the work. Well, you say we head in and uh, call it a day. Had a great day, man. The Amberjack just, my arms are like rubber. <laughs> Give George a call. Once again, there's his number, and we'll see you all next week. Don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. Sign on to the forum there and say hello to all the Mogan maniacs there. We'll see you next week. Beautiful, beautiful trout from the Big Bend area. Our first trip up here on Addictive Fishing, and we come up here and educated some of these fish on what DOAs can do.